put off by how long this video is, don't worry. I tend to jam-pack my videos with as much content, as many details as I possibly can, and I try to talk pretty fast. So while the video is a bit on the long side, I don't repeat myself and I get into a lot of details about the subject that, you know, pretty much anything that I feel I can comment on and that I think you might find interesting. If the video is simply too long for you, I did record a shorter version and the link is in the description box. Neighbors. Mac and Kelly are kind of bored, actually, with their suburban life. They have a small, small daughter that they are raising and, yeah, he's getting stoned at work because he's so bored she desperately wants to get out of the house and, yeah, it's... They're not loving that whole existence. So when a fraternity moves in next door, they are... It seems like a mixed blessing. Maybe it could be fun, but they'll probably keep their daughter up at night. So at first they do try to make it work. They go to a party and Things seem to be going well, but yeah, the the frat keep having loud parties, and the the couple call the cops, and that really just sends the you know from there on everything just goes crazy. They start a what's it called a war of attrition, I think. And it's basically, it, it gets to be a vicious circle. It just keeps going and going. And that's what makes it vicious and a circle. Now, this film, it's very funny, but it also tries way too hard to be funny. And that leads to a lot of, <laughs> a lot of scenes where it's very clear they're really trying to be funny. The thing with comedy is difficult and when someone is trying really hard to be funny often what ends up is they are just obnoxious. They, they're they loud or they're like moving really fast or doing weird stuff and that in and of itself is not necessarily funny. It'll get a reaction but it's not necessarily funny and there's there's not a lot of it in this movie, but there is some. There, there are several scenes where they just, they get really loud and then the scene sort of, it, yeah, sort of, sort of ends. It's like, you know, it builds up and then it, it ends. And them being loud, it's not actually funny. It's, they're just being loud. There's also a bit much of just awkward humor where, like, the, the, the couple trying to speak, you know, trying to use slang and such to, to fit in with the, the frat guys. Some of it is really funny. Like, there's... They try to, like... They, they do the greeting where, you know, the, the young guys are like, you know, expecting this. And I think it's, I think it's Seth Rogen who like, you know, he, he tries to grab it or, to, you know, hug. Just, yeah, I, I can't completely reproduce it, but it was funny. It was, it was the funny kind of awkward. But yeah, a lot of the time that is just awkward, not, not actually funny. I would also say the last third or so, there's, they have this really big party there near the end. That's when it gets really hilarious, and like when everything they do is funny. Until then, there are some kind of, yeah, there, there are just, there are 
portions of the film where it's not actually that funny. They're, at times they don't even seem to be trying really hard. But, yeah, and then there are times where, as I've mentioned, it just, you can tell they're trying to be funny. There are also, there were times where apparently we were supposed to, as an audience, get a certain impression from some characters, like, near near the end, they, they mentioned, oh, that one character, he's really charming, and it's like, we've seen that character before, was he supposed to be charming? I, that was not at all the vibe I got from that character. And there's also, it's kind of, it's, you can really tell that it's very, sort of everyone's trying to get a laugh. It's, and there are scenes where people, people in this act like no one actually does. Like there's a scene where the, you know, you see in, in the trailers, the, Robert De Niro party scene. That ends with basically everyone going, yeah, like I said, the scene's getting loud and so that's one of those scenes and it ends with everyone basically saying, doing the taxi driver, you know, are you talking to me? And it's, while this is going on, they were you know, the, the couple were trying to sell their house, so there's the real estate agent, and suddenly she's like in the background, also kind of sort of joining in, and you know, yeah, she, it's only very briefly, but it, yeah, it's, it, it doesn't make any sense for her to be, be doing that in, in that scene. Now, the, I was pleasantly surprised. It is it is very much a an R-rated raunchy teen comedy, but it isn't. Usually, when it when it crosses the line, it's funny. It's not. It doesn't really cross the line just to cross the line, which yeah, I've seen that a lot in yeah a lot of R-rated comedies. Now, the burn is actually a lot of fun in this. She, you know, too many of these. The the wife is kind of the, the character who has to, you know, settle thing, calm, calm things back down. And here she very much gets to take part in it. And she she actually does some of the crazier stuff. So some others have mentioned she like sets this whole Machiavellian scheme going and really yeah works works hard to make sure that it, it works out. She does also given that she does some of the worst things of the you know of what everyone does in this film, it does end up with it's, you know, it's a little hard to root for her. I mean, in the non-Australian sense of that word. It's mostly just a, an idea more than a story. Basically just this war of attrition between the couple and the frat. And it, it feels very episodic. There's not really much of a of an escalation over the course of the film. It's just a bunch of different things that the two do to, you know, to harm the other. And it's, it's also, the, the film really wants us to side with the couple against the frat, but the couple actually do, like, property damage and uh, yeah there's there's really no reason they should you know be entirely in the clear the ending really doesn't 
feel... I think the, the movie wants there to be resolution there, but there isn't really. It doesn't feel like the basic... Yeah, it doesn't feel like the... the Yeah, I, I shouldn't give away too much, but basically, yeah. Also, it feels like, you know, it almost gets a little Return of the king -y. There are several times where you think, okay, this is the end, this is the final scene, and it still isn't. It's also, it's, it's about 90 minutes. It doesn't feel really long, but there are times where you do really kind of feel like... There are times where you can really tell that it's not actually getting anywhere. It is just one scene after another of, yeah, this this war of attrition. Now, the I Zach Efron in this is really really good. Just completely psychotic at times. And this, yeah, actually, he, he and several others get to do, like, both extremes. Like, really, you know, friendly and kind of, I mean, you, you've seen the trailer, just how he's, you know, all nice and charming and this whole thing. Actually, you, you see a little bit in, in the trailer where he's, like, talking to them and he's going, okay, just don't call the cops, call me. I'll tell them to, you know, that whole thing. And in the film, not only that, but it also shows he's like, okay, promise me you won't call the cops, and then they promise, okay, okay. So you're not going to call the police because when people promise me something, I expect them to keep it. And, and there's this, you know, in just in a split second, he goes from just this friendly and neighborly, good-natured thing to being like, Okay, you do not want to mess with that guy. He's he's yeah. Okay, sure, sure. We yeah, and yeah, it's the and and I already mentioned Burn. Rogan is also quite funny in this. Now the I suppose that. Last covers. The the baby is of course absolutely awesome. I think that's pretty much, you know, everyone who's watched the movie is just, yeah, she's she's adorable and she has some really funny moments. Yeah. Now the there are scenes where like characters' motivations really don't. You know, it's it's very much just yeah. They they don't necessarily make sense. It's there are scenes in this where it's very much created in order to give them something. You know, so so there'll be a funny scene whether it necessarily makes a lot of sense or not. There's literally a scene that starts with you know a character admits that he's you know. I think it's like he ate a pot brownie and it's kicking, excuse me, and it's kicking in and it's like, it's a scene where it's very clearly important that they make a good impression and it's just this, so why did you do that? It, and it's, again, if, if that goes back to what I said about impressions, at times these frats seem very capable, very focused, and then at other times it's just completely, you know, yeah, they're, they're just completely going nuts, and yeah, it's, it's somewhat incons inconsistent there. Now, this does also have some, you know, some moments of maturity and, and goes into this thing of, you know, these frat guys who, you know, they have a future to worry about, but they aren't, 
like they're they're maybe trying to not think about it yet and you know now being in suburbia does kind of bring that up and meanwhile the the couple are kind of bored and they they do want to go out and have fun and they're like worried that they are you know the these boring old people so yeah and they do get some good stuff out of that and it's of course also it's a good contrast that was something that you know right from when I watched the first trailer I, when I watched the trailer I knew I had to watch this movie and yeah it's it's a good contrast this this suburban married couple and then this frat now this is very much driven by the the jokes and gags it's yeah everything else kind of comes second I will say that they do have some very good character stuff Teddy Seth Rogen's Mac and Burns Kelly I should say Teddy is Efron's character they are all fairly consistent and you kind of yeah they they have distinct characters and you do get some good moments out of that it's more sort of the people who are a little bit more in the background yeah now it is I think that more or less covers the 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 nonstop partying and such gets pretty tiresome and actually speaking only for myself I found it got tiresome very quickly. I feel like they should have had only small parties before, you know, the the final big one instead of yeah, this yeah, because that that final, I mean, yeah, the last third, that final big party that's you know, that's fantastic. And that's also where some of the best moments of the trailers are right in there. I should also say, in, in regards to the trailers, I don't think they gave too much away, or, you know, with the comedy, there's always the risk of giving away too many of the punchlines. So, you know, people are sitting there waiting for the punchline, or, you know, maybe the timing was ruined because of the trailer. Yeah. That doesn't really happen here. I, the trailers do show a lot, but there's still a pretty good amount of stuff that you don't see in the trailers. And then there's also the, the stuff that was cut out of the film from the trailers, which, yeah, it just know that when you go into it, yeah, there, there are some things that have been removed. I think that more or less, and of course there's the, yeah, I've already mentioned how it's, the the improvisation and such, there are a lot of good jokes there, these, you know, these characters, these actors are really good at improv, but it does also kind of just grind the scene to a halt when, you know, yeah, suddenly characters are just standing there riffing off each other, and yeah, that gets excessive. I suppose that more or less covers it. But yeah, it's it's funny and at its best, it is hilarious, but it that mostly is in that third last last third of the film, and I think yes. 
please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.